Gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for your mercy and grace. We pray that you'd be with us tonight. Help us to make uh, wise decisions for our community and for this area. Help us during this time, Lord, as we travel different paths than we have in the, in the past. We love you and we thank you. In the name we pray. Amen. 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 Uh, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. First thing, uh, the approval of the minutes from the meeting on the 7th. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes. Um, let's start with the committee reports. Chamber, nobody here. Um, how about the finance committee? I'm here. Yes, you are. <laughs> good news? Good news. No good news. news. Actually, the best news that I've got on record. Our numbers came in, all of them across the board, quite a bit higher. Uh, I'm not going to itemize them, but I'm going to tell you a total of 95484 uh, higher than a year ago. And that's a record to high for from what I see that I, that I have. We don't know, even want to guess why. Uh, I'm going to say that people are shopping, people are shopping locally. locally, and that's what you're going to see if people are not spending the money elsewhere. Go out of town with the virus. So if this continues, you'll be good news. Yeah, I think that's something to point out to the public if they'll continue that. It's helping the city, and it's helping us to meet the goals that. Yeah. More to do. provide more services and so forth. You know, we have money available. Downtown, a couple of the stores have things in there, but uh, on the glass, but shopping local. Mm -hmm. I like that. All right, anything else? That's all. Yeah, we got finance committee meeting next Tuesday at five thirty. Okay. For you guys that are on the finance <coughs> committee. Yeah, have one we'll go to fire. All right, council members. Uh, you things do have several of our folks out. You'll notice uh, we got uh, one new face up here. I don't know where Tina ran off to, but uh, several folks out to the Murmur Conference. So we've got those folks going out for the rest of the week. Uh, some other stuff kind of going on with us. Uh, first of all, let's talk about fire. Uh, this afternoon we did have a severe storm kind of move through. Uh, you'll get on the Mercy Management website, uh, Facebook page. You'll see some of the damage we've come across out the parks. Mm -hmm. Looks like Chuck's going to be cutting wood for the next <laughs> few weeks. So, how much wood could a wood chuck? Anyway, some might be special interest to Council Member Vallant, uh the tanker that's oh, he's been on hold. Guess what? It's here. It's not here yet. <laughs> <laughs> Get it they're, they're, they're they're telling me the end of this month. So by July thirtieth. So hopefully by the next council meeting we'll ask for the money. Too good a deal to pass that. Yeah, here you go. Mm -hmm. uh, our advanced life support inspection from the state. They finally give us a date, uh, July thirtieth. They'll be here to inspect us for that. Uh, so again, we can we can start doing mm -hmm. some uh, advanced life support. Uh, so that's very very uh, grateful for that. Um, let's see. Up my notes here. Uh, I guess we can jump right in. Uh, talk about property maintenance. Uh, I understand there may be some folks may kind of have some questions about that. Donnie has been speaking with some of the local uh, local folks that do rent several properties, and he said he's had a good rapport with them. I know he's not reached out to everyone yet, but those that he has talked to, uh, believe it or not. It's, uh, it's been quite well uh, as far as people accepting what's going to be taking place with the, the warnings and tickets. It's, it's been great so far. But, uh, I, you know, after someone receives that first warning or that first ticket, it may be a different story. But, uh, again, Donnie has been working on that. Uh, we've decided that uh, possibly with the owners, we may be sending out certified letters explaining all the changes that are taking place. Uh, we've been with the radio station. Uh, Steve was gracious enough to have, his own, have us on his show in reference to the changes. And uh, Trina, next with the uh, newspaper, we need to get with you. So. Is the old um, hospital property on your list? <coughs> well, with the I, hospital property. I had a couple of phone calls on that. That's what I'm bringing uh, up. They were out there yesterday. One thing we need to kind of mention is it is being mowed. Some of it. 
some of it. The parking lot looks bad. Yeah, uh, right up to my they property. did talk to the gentleman that's taking care of that property, I mm -hmm. uh, believe, yesterday, and he would see what he could do with it. Uh, the property that's up front, as far as the landscaping, again, he was going to discuss it with the owner that uh, you know he can get in there and do a little bit more besides mm -hmm. mowing. So, so we got to hit the pole. Might be. <laughs> but uh, no, uh, again, we knew that was going to be an issue that may come up. And uh, yeah, he talked to the gentleman, so <clears throat> hopefully we should see something done a little bit better. I also understand that they missed some spots. No. So <laughs> anyway, again, that was brought up to them as well. But, uh, things that are coming up, uh, I believe probably the next go around, next meeting, uh, we're going to be talking about the CARES Act. We get with Brenda and uh, Leslie as well as the Finance Committee about the possibilities of what we can use that funding for. And we're very excited that we did receive that, receive some of this funding that come from the county. And again, that'll come out later on. One more thing, uh, we did receive from the Regional Homeland Security Oversight Committee, uh, we received a grant in the amount of $10,500 to go towards our uh, communication vehicle. So we were very grateful to get that because the regional homeland security funding is steadily dwindling downhill, like many other funds that has been around for a while. So we were fortunate that we got it this time. So yeah, I have a feeling uh, two or three years out, maybe that grant will probably dry up. That's all I have. Thank you. Any questions? Anybody else from the fire committee? Okay. Uh, human resources, we don't have anything today for that. Uh, you may. I do. Uh, Tina's not here this evening. But she said they had a great week last week. They took in quite a few dogs. They were able to place 35 this past Saturday on transport for other rescues. And one was adopted in the <coughs> upper peninsula of Michigan. So they were going to, some of them were going to go a long way. When they cross a state line, it requires a health certificate. Um, and most of them also had to be vetted, but she said they were all, it was all paid through donations, uh, so that she was very pleased about that, and they have a total of five dogs right now. She goes, now it's only Tuesday, <laughs> so it'll fill back up by the weekend, I'm sure. But um, she said that they've been doing real well moving the dogs through. All right, great. Good. Uh, please. Nothing for police unless you guys got any questions on anything. Uh, do you know anything about the uh, overtime that we approved? Has that been put to use yet at the council? Do you have any idea? I want to say he might have had one person work it so far. I'm not 100% on that. Uh, thank you. Uh, the street farm. Council members. Uh, Mark couldn't make it tonight. We don't have a whole lot, just a uh, little update information. The construction crew that's working on Main and 8th has finished that up and got that road opened up. Uh, we did a little storm water work while we were there, try to help the drainage out a little bit. And they have moved to Main and 5th and started breaking that out. So this week, uh, weather permitting, they'll be working there. Uh, street department poured a little bit more concrete. Uh, sidewalk there in front of uh, Hart Family Pond. We're going to stop there for a little while so we can do some, take care of some other things that we need to do. Uh, we do need to have a short closed meeting just to update on some of the industrial stuff. I guess as long as I'm up here instead of sitting down, I'll go ahead and storm water. <laughs> uh, we sent the paperwork back to Benton and Associates and they said they're going to get started on the uh, post-construction stormwater plan that's what was okay for the the money at the last meeting to get that done so hopefully we'll have that done pretty soon uh, along with stormwater the street department has been working at the Shelton Pond that we recently acquired we removed about 148 loads of dirt last week in, in three days from the bottom of the pond we've got it the pipe was sitting more or less on the ground some places were above the bottom of the pipe. We've got it now about two foot below the pipe, so 
the water should get out of the neighborhood real good next time it rains. I actually went when it rained real hard a while ago, there was nothing coming out of the pipe. So I'm hoping it was just, we got a, not enough rain to do anything, but we're gonna do a little bit more on that. It's probably what we'll do when we stop on the sidewalk for a little bit. We also have got the ditch coming into town on Ely Road. We got it mowed. And uh, I think the township had been mowing it. And I, I guess we're, we took it back over now. So we've got it mowed. We're getting ready to start on Ely Road uh, on Buffalo Ditch, moving back toward Independence and try to get some of that mowed. We've got a plan for trying to keep some of that down. So we'll see how that works. If y'all don't have any questions, that's all I've got. That's all been impacted by employees and trying to get employees, right? Yes. Well, one of our biggest things, the guy that's been mowing has been doing the mow crew. So he's training, we're training a guy right now. We actually got another guy. He trained another guy to train a guy for the mow crew so he could get back on there and get some more of that mowing done. So he'd be doing that this week if the weather lets him. Right. Thank y'all. Just want to kind of remind the public with uh, <clears throat> this information. They don't know that there's a problem unless you let them know. And uh, it's sometimes they, uh, the public assumes that if they're constantly driving the streets or whatever looking for problems, but if you do have a problem, you need to let your councilman know or someone know because uh, it, it's there's things that are happening that we're just not aware of. So let us know, please. Uh, industrial is not here. Anybody have anything on that? No. Okay. Uh, unfinished business, Blue Hill uh, Regional Planning Commission bill. We uh, were going to vote on that tonight, correct? Mm -hmm. And uh, we had a project that was being, uh, that we were going through the Blue Hill Regional Planning Commission on. Invoice is $3,279.60. Uh, how much is that project value? That roundabout gift? Uh, around about guess and uh, around eighty thousand dollars. Okay, so it's probably worth it. Bill also was going to use them. I'm sorry. Are we still going to use them? That's who we're using for that project right. right there. So also, Bill, maybe and something to think about. Uh, industrial too. Mm -hmm. or industrial. They are working on something else for us mm -hmm. as far as the uh, industrial stuff. Okay. They're working on something right now that. Hopefully in a couple of weeks they'll have some information on it. So okay. now I'll make a motion that we okay, well, let's let him finish. Okay. Uh, that's a good thing. I knew with the uh, street department utilizing the CBG, get my CBs right, uh, grant in years past, <laughs> that I think the Blueville Regional Committee will also be assisting us with for the next. Uh, key, the, uh, don't we'll put you on the spot, but uh, for the next three to four years. They will be doing some uh, auditing for us or assisting in the audit. For I, the I know that they that you we have got several of those CBDG grants from them. Uh, that's one thing we'll need to talk about in closed meeting. But they are working with some other stuff for us, so it, um, it might be a good thing to <laughs> go ahead with them well, this we, this we year. Budgeted, so okay. so again, I'll make the motion to second it. We'll continue. We have a motion uh, to continue to, and a second to continue to pay the bill for the uh, Blue Hill Regional Planning Commission. Uh, any discussion? Motion. Second. Uh, all right. All in favor? Aye. All right. Aye. Yes. Any opposed? Uh, motion passes. All right. So I'm going to leave this though for the mayor to sign rather than myself. Okay. Uh, new business. Uh, I'd like to uh, bring up the fact that the SEMO fair canceled this year and I, I have had some phone calls about the fair and should we continue and what's best for that and um, I understand that there's a fair board meeting on the 3rd mm -hmm. and we meet on the 4th. I had an intent of the uh, asking someone from the fair board to be here. and. Uh, also from the health department, but I uh, think we can get something like that arranged. Can you give us an update on that? Should be. You There's always the somebody from the fair board here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I wanted to hear. Yeah. So. There's, always, well, it's always, there's always at least two. Okay. <laughs> so I thought need, that was the case. We need to get somebody from the health department. Okay. Yeah, I'd like the health department to make a recommendation on it also. Um, 
Also, uh, the July 4th fireworks meeting is coming up. The next council meeting. Next council meeting. On I'm, August 4th. And so I need everybody to think on that and be uh, come up with some serious conclusions because I know it's impacting a lot of people. Um, I understand the spraying of, for mosquitoes is going, I'm hearing pretty good. A um, little bit down from what we've had in the past, so that's going good so far. Um, any other new business? Okay, uh, public comments. Would you like to comment? Actually, I'm really just here to uh, commend our police department for the job they're doing. And at the same time, uh, just mentioned about the fair this year, also about the guy in spray. Uh, I wish he would slow down just a little bit as he comes through the neighborhood because he seems like he's always speeding through. And so uh, that was my concern because uh, I don't think he's really spraying like the neighborhood would like for it to be sprayed because of his fast time going through. And at the same time, <coughs> I know you all will be discussing this firework situation next week. And I read the article by Ms. Atchison in the paper concerning this issue. And I also looked at the uh, survey that was taken online about the citizens as to whether or not they think they should be banned. And I think it's 69% versus 31%. And I believe that 31% are basically those culprits that are doing this that don't want to see this gone. So that was all I was really here for, to see where my tax dollars are going as a citizen of Kennedy. So I will be attending the meetings to be informed. I'd like to stay informed about what's going on in the town that I live in. But that's all I'm here for. Really. Thank you. We have taken some action otherwise yes. on that as well and uh, approved some measures to try to help you out with some of the problems that you're having. Thank and you. I, have, I feel that way too about, Vector says that the trucks, the spray trucks, if they go over 19 miles an hour, they shut off. Mm -hmm. I just don't think that's true. They <laughs> Unless they have it adjusted wrong or something. Yeah, they have to go a certain speed for it to even go. Yeah, yeah. and, and so I, they come around my area, and I appreciate it, but I can see it go. It's not speeding, but it's certainly not 19 miles an hour. Well, if, if we could, could we have a... Uh, People told us that there's a certain uh, yeah. speed limit that they have, right? Mm -hmm. Right, it caps off and yeah. turns on all that. But, but if you would, there's also some issues of okay. going within the city and outside the city limits. I don't know if he's intentionally going outside the city limits, but I had a little discussion with him on that, too. Uh, Steve, did you have Yeah, I forgot to mention earlier on the finance part that we have 191 businesses that they haven't renewed their license this year. It was due May 31st, but I know we're going through the pandemic. Do we need to consider an extension or we need to <clears throat> remind people that they still got to renew and get their license? We have started calling them. I don't know if we've got them all, but we started, Dennis and I have started calling a bunch of them. Yeah, 191 is quite a so they're proactive. high number. Of them. So let's continue to make the calls in if you can. And we'll get more serious about it. I mean, there's no fee. Right. We still have that. Along that same lines, are we getting the uh, uh, tourism tax? Tourism tax off yeah. the mm -hmm. motels and yeah, the champagne. Yeah, we are on track. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Before else? we leave, that, excuse me. Before we leave, as far as you know, can we get the revenue numbers from these fireworks vendors? Is there any way to get that broken out from the state? You know, uh, we're debating whether to have it or not have it, and I think it would be important uh, for us to know what the revenue. I don't know how we can. Uh, yeah, if it's way, possible yeah, to get it, it, it may not be possible. I'll make a note and we'll check and see if we're going to have it. Very beneficial. Yeah, right. We may be able to get it from the vendors, from, you know, or as a group, but not from the what individual vendor. Okay. Yeah, so we can get that. We may be able to get all five more stamps. Yeah, that'd be great. Which is all we want. Mm -hmm. Good. <coughs> back to Cisco. Uh, anything else? Anybody have anything else? All right, uh, we're going to, I need a motion to adjourn, go into private. Motion. Second. All approved. Roll call. Yeah. Yes. 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 Aye. Yes. Yes. Okay.